Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie coming at you with another in our series of storage management tutorials. So far in this series, we've just been working with standard Linux partitions. We've seen how to create them, how to format them, and how to mount them. We've also seen how to mount them automatically by adding entries to the FS tab file. A lot of times, though, creating standard partitions will serve your purposes. That's all you need to do. But if you need more flexibility, logical volumes can help. For example, when you run out of space on a standard partition and you have no space left on the drive to resize that partition, well, what do you do? Well, you really have two options. You can back up your files, install a bigger hard drive, reinstall the operating system, and then restore your files. Or you can install an additional drive and just divide your files between the drives. Now, both of those options work, but they're a little bit awkward. But if you're using a logical volume instead of a standard partition, things are easier. All you have to do in a case like that is just to install an additional drive and add it to the logical volume. There's no need to reinstall the operating system, no need to keep track of what files are on each drive, no fuss, no muss. It's really, really easy and fast. So as you've seen, logical volumes can span across multiple hard drives. That is a big, big help. Adds much, much flexibility, can get you out of some tight situations. You can add more drives at any time in order to increase the storage capacity. But wait, there's more. With logical volumes, you can also have striped volumes for faster write performance. You can have mirrored volumes for redundancy. You can also do thin provisioning for cloud applications. Okay, well, what's, a, what's this all mean? Well, we're going to be looking at this stuff in future videos. So now you know what logical volumes are and how they can be useful. In the next video, we'll look at how to create a simple logical volume. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe.